A different kind of barrier now up at another local port of entry. We're told this is part of security enhancements. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez shows us what it looks like. The changes were made this week in Bronzeville. Those who approved that change say this is going to become standard in the valley. It's subtle. The guarded and gated gateway bridge has a new steely layer that caught the eye of a man who crosses regularly. They were adding new gates. They were installing new gates on the pedestrian crossing and next to the vehicles. Crews installed and tested a fence that swivels to block vehicular traffic. Seen through the bars near the bridge, crews were also busy installing another gate on the pedestrian southbound side. The changes took place this week. The Cameron County Bridge System Director explains the decision was made under some pressure. This was something that uh, the government has really been asking us to do. And uh, so the, the judge and the commissioners uh, approved this, this move and, and so that's the reason it was put up. Garcia explained the cost of the gates were covered by the county. It will be operated by the federal government. Customs and Border Protection, they are the ultimate authority and, and when a bridge can open or close. So yes, they, uh, they would be the ones who would make the call. Some who use this bridge think the fencing could be useful. I think it's a good idea because you never know. People from Mexico or farther down, they might rush in one day. Another man says he agrees with the added security, but acknowledges some inconvenience. Yes, it's a bit inconvenient. It inconveniences sometimes. There's a long line. The line gets long because of all the security checks at the bridge. They check everything. Enhanced security is likely to be seen at other ports of entry. All of the international bridges, at least, you know, here in the Rio Grande Valley, all ha are going to have or will have within the next month or two uh, a gate, you know, in the middle of the bridge. Some will notice a difference, but Garcia hopes border business will continue as usual. A northbound fencing on the pedest pedestrian side had previously been installed. With information from Enrique Lerma, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 6.